That's why they pay athletes these fantastic salaries. I was listening to the radio the other day. They just contracted to pay one, one player on one team $6 million a year. Can you believe this? And why is that? It's the Roman circus. What does the emperor do when the people become restive and when the people are asking questions and when the people don't like the policies of the emperor? He sends them to the circus. He creates a circus. He builds a giant coliseum. And he begins to throw the Christians to the lions. And he has great chariot races and football games and basketball games, all to keep the idiots preoccupied with things that don't mean anything in the scheme of the entire world so that they don't have the time to learn what the truth is, so they don't ever get smart enough to learn how they're being manipulated, so they don't ever question the emperor. That's why they pay a player on a football team or a baseball team a million or two million or three million dollars a year. It is the Roman circus. I know men who don't know anything in the world except who plays third base for the Mets. And they think that's a great accomplishment. And they meet and pat each other on the back and bond and go have cocktails and talk about what this guy that plays third base for the Mets did in last night's game. It's sad. It's really sad. Is there any room in, in, uh, in a kind of society where these manipulations are not taking place for this type of entertainment or any type of entertainment at all? If people understand that a game is a game, if people understand that nobody, nobody, no matter what they do, is worth paying two or three million dollars a year for. People should be able to get rich if they want to mm -hmm. by the sweat of their individual labor. Okay? By going out and doing something for the world. Mm -hmm. Not by taking people's minds away from the emperor. It's a game. 